certainly um, we thank God again for another day that he has certainly blessed us and that we are feeling well and uh, able to come out to the house of prayer one more time. I certainly don't take it lightly. Again, in that on yesterday, my, my aunt uh, was funeralized at 55 years of age. Uh, Reverend Shorty had mentioned that his cousin and, um, again was, uh, was buried on yesterday. Um, life, uh, again, is, is precious and we should be thankful to God for it. Uh, experience something I have not seen before in my going to funerals was that when we got to the cemetery, there were so many being buried that particular day that we had to wait 20 minutes for the uh, funeral, for the uh, cemetery uh, staff to, uh, to allow us to bury our loved one. Never seen it that busy before at a cemetery. Me and the Pastor Menix commented that neither of us have seen such a thing before and others that were there. So life in itself, again, every day that we have, it's, uh, it's precious, and we ought to thank God again for it. So I'm thankful to God, amen? Amen, amen. amen. for this day, amen, this day. Uh, thankful to God for certainly his many blessings, and that we ought to be thankful, again, to see each other. I'm thankful to see you and, and you that are out this morning. We come to, again, worship and praise God for, for all his many blessings. Uh, and certainly at this time, without further delay, I'll ask our deacons to come forward as we will, uh, they will lead us in our prayer and praise, and we will continue to, to move forward after that with our response to reading by Reverend Shorty. Amen? Yeah. Amen.
and Father God, we're going to stand on your name and just give you all honor and praise. For keeping all the hearts and things your way, Lord. And Father God, able us to gather to another Sunday, another one of your days, Father God, here in the back of the And Father God, as we get ready to go on off into your church, Father God, we just ask for the visitation of your most Holy Spirit. Come in and dwell with us for just a little while, Father God. And if there's anything in our hearts and our minds that you're not pleased with, remove it right now, Father God. Because, Father God, this is the day of worship, Father God. Every day is a day of worship. But, Father God, you have been so good. I've been through all my faults and, and anger and stuff that I have been through. And you blessed me to see another day. And I thank you for it, Father God. And, Father God, there is so much going on in this land with all of the diseases and the sickness and the healing, Father God. But, Father God, through it all, we know you're in charge. Help us all to go out, Father God. And, Father God, for the ones that don't know you're in the Father, and their sin, touch them right now and let them know you're coming down the eyes and we all need Christ in our God. Then, Father God, look down on all churches, Father God. And, Father God, and join all of the preachers with your eyes, Father God. And able to send us out in the world that we draw unto you, Father God, so that we all can see you with a good faith, Father God. Help us all to go Then, Father God, go to the nursing home, the hospital, the penitentiary. Bless the men and women there, Father God. But, Father God, it's not because you're so merciful, but because, Father God, you're so good. And, Father God, we look beyond all our faults. And, Father God, we thank you. We thank you from the depth of our heart. And then, Father God, for whatever go on in this service today, Father God, anoint it, Father God. Bless the singing that's going to be here. Bless the anointing that the preacher's going to bring from the bread of life, Father God. Give him a word to give us and aid us to go out and provide it. Let us show love and affection towards everyone, Father God. Even our enemies, Father God. Let us just, just praise them and magnify their name, Father God. Let our goodness show that they want to be on your side, Father God. So, Father God, at the end of the day, your word can be still standing. And we need you, Father. We need you every day of my life. And then, Father God, look down on my mama. We are blessed to see 90 years old, Father God. And I know you didn't let her get this old to leave her alone. Continue to aim her to carry on, Father God. But, Father God, it is your will and your mercy, Father God, that she's here and here. And then, Father God, look down on this deacon boy, the mother boy, all the organization that's in this church, Father God. Continue to bless it, Father God. Father God, there's so much going on that uh, we're not having the full house like we should. But, Father God, touch every heart. Let them know that you're the God every room, no matter where they at, Father God. All they got to do is just believe that Jesus went to the cross and died for all our sins. And Father God, he rose. He rose again with all powers in his hand. All we got to do is just believe in him, Father God, and have mercy on us all. Then, Father God, look down on the president and the governor seat. Able them to make decisions that's going to help us all, Father God. So, Father God, we all stand in this need of prayer. We all need something, Father God. But we need your grace and mercy to help us do it, Father God. Please, Lord, have mercy on us all. Then, Father God, when I sung my last song, Prayed my last prayer. Father God, pick me out a place in your king so I can magnify the name forever. These are all the blessings we ask for prayer. And I love Son Jesus' name forever. Amen.
Yes, and like did. the song yes. says, it's just another day in church. Right. Right. And I'm glad. Right. And I'm glad right. to be in this house one yeah. more time. But there are so many that are going to come home. Yeah. 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 One more time. Yeah. 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 Get off into the service. And where you want to sing, shout, pray, whatever God put on your heart. Let us do it and let us praise Jesus like it normally be praised. All right. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen.
morning. Prayer meeting Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. Bible study Wednesday at 6 30. Sundays at 9 30 a.m. Morning worship Sundays at 10 o'clock a.m. Word from the pastor from Dr. I love the world. And he gave, and he gave his own begotten son. And whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but we'll have an everlasting life. John 3 16, cherish these words in your heart. Your hospitality was wonderful and appreciated. Just like you. Many, many thanks. On behalf of the Montgomery Strong family, thank you, Second Baptist, for your thoughtfulness and continuous prayer. You made this day less stressful. From our family to yours, thank you and God bless. Do we have an announcement? I mean, I'm sorry, do we have any visitors? If so, will you please stand? I see our friend is here with us this morning. We have to stand and everybody give them a hand. <laughs> Certainly we thank God, certainly again, for each of you that uh, have uh, come out again this morning. Uh, we thank God again, certainly, for, uh, for, uh, for each of you. Um, certainly, we ask that we be mindful to continue to pray again, certainly for all of our sick and shut in. Um, certainly, uh, Sister Barbara Gunn is asking that we continue to pray for her sister. Um, that uh, she was uh, put uh, on a ventilator the other day, so she asked that we would continue to pray again for her sister. Um, certainly uh, to keep all of our mothers, again, certainly in our prayers, uh, Mother, uh, we ask that we would certainly be mindful to keep them all, certainly in our prayers. Um, we just know that God is able, amen, to do all things. Certainly keep all the bereaved families, again, Reverend Shorty mentioned that his cousin, uh, was laid to rest on yesterday, and certainly again, uh, thank you again, as the card has mentioned that was read um, on behalf of uh, the Montgomery Strong family for your prayers again and support. Many others again certainly are going through. We ask that we be mindful to continue to pray again for all of those that are sick and those that are shut in among us, uh, because one thing is for sure, we all need prayer. Amen. 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 And if we're going to make it, amen, prayer. Amen is the one that we're going to, to sustain us and keep us. Amen. We're just so glad to see. Again, we know uh, that many uh, of you were unable. I know Sister Marilyn did have a surgery, and uh, we thank God. I, uh, I followed that on uh, Facebook, and, uh, and, uh, and Mother Margaret Lee kept me informed. So we're certainly glad to know that uh, she's better, and she's with us this morning. Amen. Amen. We just thank God. Amen. 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 And certainly, again, that uh, uh, Sister Thompson, amen. We know that when she's feeling well enough that she's, just, she's here. And so we thank God that she's feeling well enough again, certainly this morning. Amen. Amen. Always glad to see uh, our friends, uh, the Summerlands who uh, traveled all the way from Cabot to be with us. Um, I, I never uh, take it lightly, again, that, uh, that friends, uh, you know, uh, as such as, as, as Keith and uh, his wife and his entire family. Uh, and I just thank God again for when we, we used to work together um, at the health department. In fact, I hired a man at the health department and then I left. And uh, I think he's still there. <laughs> so I appreciate, uh, again, certainly his friendship over the years, that if a co-worker, again, can, can come, amen, and, and worship with you, that means a lot to me. Amen. 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 amen.
Amen, amen. If you have not already given of your tithes and offering, uh, we ask you to do so. Raise your hands and hold it up, and uh, we will, the deacons or the urshals will come around and get them for you um, again so that we won't pass the tray and all the touching and, and all of that. We thank God again for you and for your continued support of the ministry um, again here at Second Baptist Church because uh, we cannot do it without you. And, uh, and we certainly will say uh, that uh, you all have certainly, again, been uh, faithful uh, in your support of the ministry and uh, giving unto God. So we thank God again, certainly, uh, for each of you. Uh, as we know, we cannot beat God's giving. Amen? Amen. amen? amen. No matter how we try. Amen. The more you give, amen, certainly the more that he gives back unto you. And so we just say thank you again. For, for your continued support. Amen. Amen. Certainly um, at this time we are preparing now for, for our altar uh, prayer. We would ask that you would stand uh, where you are and uh, Reverend Shorty again certainly will lead us in our prayer. <laughs> much needed throughout this land and country so much is going on this day yes, it is. Yes, it is. but we serve a God that's able to do all things yeah. we're going to ask this morning that we look to the hills right. which cometh our help yes, knowing yes. all our help cometh from the Lord that made yes. heaven and earth yes, sir. the creator yes. the alpha the omega the beginning yes, and the end yes, Lord Jesus. he's able to do all things Pray for those, Sister, Sister Barbara Gunn, yeah. all the mothers, yes, Lord. all the bereaved family, yeah. all the bereaved family, yes, Lord. the graves is full, yes, sir. but like D said earlier, one day, one day. I know we'll be called, yes, sir. and just while the blood is running warm in our veins, we're going to give God the praise, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come to you as humble as we know how. Yeah. Lord, thank you for just another day, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for just last night as we slept in slumber, death rang, angel all around our bed. Yeah. But Lord, early this morning, you shook us our eyes open to see another yeah. beautiful day, Father. And Father, we thank you right now, Father. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you for good health and strength this morning, Father. Father, even us to get up and get around on our yeah. own, Father. Yeah. Lord, we ask you to forgive us for our sins and create yeah. us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within yeah. us, Lord. Lord, touch us and bless us, Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for food, clothes, and shelter, Father. Yes. Father, we thank you this morning, yes, Father. Lord, thank, you. thank you for our families this morning, Father. Yes. No matter what's going on, Father God, we know you're able, Father. Yes. And Lord, we ask you to touch Second Baptist this yes, morning, Lord, Father. Touch our pastor this morning, Father. Yes. Lord, take him deep down into your treasures, yes. Lord. We come up telling the world for the ways of sin, for the death, but the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes. Touch every member as a whole, Father. Yes. Some might need you for one thing, and Lord, some might need you for another. Yeah. But Lord, we know you're able to fix it, Father God. Yeah. And we give it to you this morning, Father. Yeah. Lord, somebody might be rational with pains, aches in their body, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, one touch from you, Lord, will make everything all right, Father. Yeah. Lord, so many went in the hospital and came out, Father. Yes, the touch from you, Lord, made everything all right, yes, Father. Lord. Now, Lord, we ask you to bless those that are still in the hospital, yes, Lord. Lord, laying up on their bed of afflictions this morning, Father. Touch in a mighty way, Father. And Lord, whatever your will be, let it be done, Father God. Lord, we ask you to go into nursing homes, Father. Father, go into prisons, Father. Those that stand behind jail cell bars, Father. Let them know, Father, that you're still there with them, Father. Lord, bless and touch in a mighty way, Father. Lord, bless the community as a whole, Father. Lord, bless the White House, Father. Lord, touch the president, the governor, the senators, the congress, the mayor. <coughs> Lord, let, let them know everything going to be all right, Father. Father, bless their minds and their thoughts, Father, that they make the right decisions, Father. Lord, bless our kids while they're in schools, Father. Touch them, Father. Cover them, Father, with the blood of Jesus, Father. We know if you cover everything, going to be all right, Father. And, Lord, we don't want to be selfish. We ask you to bless every church this morning, Lord, that's assembling your name, Father God. Every pastor, every minister that's standing on your word, declaring it this morning, Father. Bless in a mighty way, Lord Jesus. Bless, Lord. And Lord, when the battle has been fought and the victory has been won, yes, Father, Lord. we ask you to pick a peace place in your wonderful kingdom. We will spend it time with you. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Put them hands together. Every praise.
praise in the morning, in the midday, and at night. Our God is so worthy to be praised. Amen, 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 amen. He is so worthy. But without him, we can do nothing. Amen. Amen. He is our all in all. Amen, amen, amen. We're just again so happy to see everybody out. I do understand how this time will get the best of you. I, I don't want you to think that I was on time uh, this morning. I was running late this morning. But I, I thank God that I made it. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes when you are wrong and you know you're in the wrong, he said, Lord, I, I know I was coming down that highway 80, speeding, Lisa. And then I was wrong. Then I got the nerve to ask the Lord, now, Lord, you make my way plain. <laughs> Knowing I'm wrong. But, you know, that's just the kind of God that we serve. That ain't good. He, uh, even when we're wrong, I say even when we're wrong, Y'all don't hear me. I'm, I may have talking about me. Even when I'm wrong, I still can see the mercy of God. Amen. 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 And experience his mercy, his forgiveness, certainly new mercies I see every day. And great is his faithfulness toward me. Well, I can't make it without him. And I just want to say thank you, God, again for all. Is this this morning and it's still morning. I want to call our attention to, I want to go back, go back to the book of beginnings, to the book of Genesis. To the book of Genesis chapter 3. The book of Genesis chapter 3. The book of Genesis chapter 3. Very, very beginning in verse 4. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 4. Genesis 3 and 4. You will find these words written. It says, Then the serpent said to the woman, You would not surely die. For God knows that in the day, if your eyes, if you eat, then your eyes will be open. And you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And the serpent said to the woman, you will not surely die. This morning, again, morning, we want to talk on this thought, the first lie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know what y'all laughing about. They said, you hear me? They laughing. The first lie. I didn't say the first lie that I told or the first lie that you told. But there was a first lie. And it was not told by us the first lie that is recorded that we all know that sin entered our world by falsehood Satan through the median of the serpent and the serpent had a Satan had a way of turning Humanity away from the truth. Follow me here this morning. Satan has a, a way of turning humanity from the truth. And thus embracing a lie. Notice this, notice this, that in our world today, that 
folk now would rather hear a lie yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. than the truth. And, 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 and I don't care which political affiliation you belong to, but for the longest that all we heard and all we will continue to hear from most politicians is a lie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Falsehoods. And we, will, we are more apt to believe the lie, what, than the truth. The truth is that we cannot argue and we cannot debate the truth. The truth is the truth. But Satan has a way of turning us away from the truth. And as he did with Eve and turning us away from the truth and the holiness. The mother of all living. There in the garden, he, he had an encounter with Eve. And he got her to believe that which was not true. Yes, sir. To believe that which was not true. As sin was thus introduced, so it has been very mainly sustained by lies. So the Apostle John and gives evidence of his truth. In other words, lies give sin legs to stand on. Whereas lies may be conceived in the mind and the heart, and they may lay there in your heart and your mind, Lies may be uttered with the lips, or they may be acted in the life. I don't care who you are. That which represents or presents the unreal as true, that which deceives by what is said or unsaid, it is still a lie. I don't care who we are. That which is not true is a what? Yes, sir. Now let us look at, as the author, this first line, Satan, the devil, the deceiver, are the titles given him in scripture, and Jesus says of him, as it is recorded in John 8 and 44, mm -hmm. those of you who have your Bibles, if you will turn John 8 and 44, uh, those who would write it down and read it in the week to come, yes, John 8 and 44, for Jesus speaks of Satan, the devil. Jesus says that he is a liar. Yes, and what? The father of lies. Uh -huh. No doubt. Could you imagine this happening in the garden? Could you imagine this happening in the garden of Eden? In the land, in, in the territory that God had created for man to exist in perfect harmony. Man was in perfect harmony with God and in perfect harmony with creatures. And, and, and in perfect harmony with, with nature, there was no disturbance. Yes, sir. The lion was a lion, but didn't know he was a lion. Yes, sir. <laughs> the bear was a bear, but didn't know he was a bear. Man freely existed in, 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 this, in this garden with animals, and there was nothing. No fear. No pain, no agony, no stress. Yes, sir. But then here comes Satan. With a lie. In the time of you just see it in the scene and in, in, in the garden, how it unfolds as the conversation was held. And the author of the first lie. The nature of the lie that was uttered. What did Satan say? He says, Eve, check this out. He said, check this out, Eve. You know what, you know what God has been saying to you? God says, if, if you eat of that tree in the midst. Look, I know what God told you. But look here. You ain't going to die. Look, 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 at it, look at it now. God says, you eat of it, you're going to die. 
Here comes Satan. Okay, Eve, if you eat of it, you ain't going to die. God says you eat of it, you're going to die. Yes, sir. Satan says if you eat of it, you ain't going to die. Notice how it is, whatever Satan has, whatever Satan presents to us, it is always in direct conflict with God's word. In case you didn't know that, I, I just threw that free advertisement in there. Whatever Satan has to, to offer, whatever Satan presents to us, whatever Satan has to say, you ought not to believe it because it is in direct conflict with God's command. Yes. Amen. Notice that first lie. You shall not surely die. It was a most daring and presumptuous lie. The height of desperate shamelessness and boldness that he would notice that he would come into direct conflict with God. The Almighty, the one who hung the sun, the moon, and the stars. The one who created everything. The one that, that did all that called man to, to exist and, and form man out of the dust. Breathe into him the breath of life. The very one that stood out on nothing and called everything into existence. Yet, Satan has the audacity yes, sir. to conflict what God has said. But you know what boldness Satan has. That he would go on a collision course with God, the creator of the universe. But notice. That's what he does. Yes, sir. Have you ever noticed that? That's what he does. That everything that he presents, everything is in direct conflict and with such boldness that he comes and he challenges our faith. Satan comes and he challenges the commands of God. He comes and he comes and he contradicts the words that God has said. But I tell you that it is important for us to know that Satan is bold and we have to stand with such boldness when he comes unto us. Oh yeah, he's bold. He comes direct conflict with God. So if he comes to direct conflict with God, what do you think he's going to do to us? Oh yes. Some of you may say, I'm in the battle of my life. Yes, that's what Satan does. He comes to seek and, and, and destroy. Yes, sir. Destroy your peace with God. Destroy your peace with fellow man. Destroy your peace yes, sir. within your own soul. To destroy your peace. Have your mind so that you can't even concentrate or think on God. It was the most malignant and envious lie. There can be no doubt that Satan saw and envied. You see, Satan, he, he, he hated. Listen to this. Satan is, is so envious. If you got folks that are jealous and envious of you, that ain't nobody but Satan. Folk would be, listen. We ain't got nothing, but yet folk can be envious of you of what you th what they think you got that's better than what they have. You know, folk would be envious of you. We all struggling in the bottom of the bucket. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But folk would be envious of you just because you're one step ahead of them. That ain't nobody but Satan. You ought to be happy and you ought to be glad to see the Lord bless somebody else. You ought to be happy to see the Lord shower his blessings upon your neighbor. That ain't God to be envious of what he has blessed somebody else. Folk hate to see you get a new car. Folk hate to see you get a new job. Folk hate to see you promoted. Yeah. Satan is the one that was envious. Satan was so envious. He hated 
that human pair. He hated Adam and Eve. He hated that they were innocent before God. He hated that they were blessed by God. He hated that. And guess what? Satan hates the fact that you're here on this morning. Oh, I'm just going to. Satan hates the fact that you struggled and you overcame some obstacles in order to get here this morning, but you're here. You said victory today is mine. Oh, yes, yeah, Satan hated the fact that you've gone all week and you ain't had nothing but praise on your heart. Satan hate that fact. Satan hate the fact that even when you experience a loss of a loved one, you said, I'm not going to stop giving God praise. Satan hate the fact that you may have lost something this week. But yet you still say, I'm going to give God praise because I know I can't make it without your law. Satan hate the fact that you woke up this morning with your mind stayed on Jesus. Oh, he hated. Oh, he's envious of. Oh, he's, he hates you now. He hates you because you said nothing is going to stop me this morning. Oh, because you said on Thursday, you said I'm going to give God the praise even though you didn't feel like praising him. Amen. Oh, he hated. Just like he hated the fact that Adam and Eve were innocent, blameless before the Lord, blessed of God. And now serpent, that old devil, Satan, he throws a spell, throws a fatal blow. They listened to him. Eve listened to him. And then he puts his poison and venomous iniquity and ruin in their soul. Don't listen to him. It was a destructive lie. Notice this. It destroyed their innocence. Look at this. It destroyed their innards. It blundered their minds. God says, don't eat. Satan says, eat. It destroyed their innocence. Blinded their minds. Created doubt. And I tell you, it's a dangerous thing when you start doubting God. I don't care. I don't care what the person or who the person is. You ought not to let nobody cause you to doubt God. You ought not to let Satan or nobody else cause you to doubt God. You ought to know too much about him and you ought to want to do what God has commanded you over anything else. It ought not to matter what others may say to you. Stand on what you know God has told you to do. Look at them now. It defiled their conscience. They no longer now able to know which way. Before they, 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 they were clear. Notice this. Before they were clear in their dedication and devotion unto God. Now Satan has planted some seeds of doubt. What am I saying? What about you? You notice how you all excited to come to Christ, come excited to worship, excited to praise, excited to give of your time and talent to the Lord, and then all of a sudden you were going along good, and then all of a sudden Satan planted some doubt in your mind. Now you don't praise God like you used to praise him. You don't give God thanks like you used to give God thanks. You don't have time for God like you used to have time. Satan has planted doubt in your mind. And you begin to question your faith and your dedication to God. Why serve the Lord? Why give of my time and talent to the Lord? Why praise the Lord? But I tell you, with this leprous defilement and guilt, I tell you, it caused them to be bound with chains and fetters, guilty and condemned before God. Now, 
This was the first lie. That was the germ of all unrealness and deception that cursed mankind. Now, because of that first lie, we have so much crookedness, <laughs> so much illusion and deceit. All of it is traceable to that first lie. All ignorance, all error, all superstition, all base fear, all inward treason of heart took their rise from the first lie. That first lie, you said, oh, it, it, didn't, it seemed harmless. No, it wasn't. It poisoned the moral blood, degenerated humanity, degenerated humankind, and introduced every hideous deformity. And it fought the impurity in the human family because before that, we were perfect. We were in the God. We were in perfect unity and fellowship with God. Now all of a sudden, look at us now. Stained. Guilty. Wrong. Sinful. It was a living entanglement from which man could not free himself. Notice how man can rush into darkness but can't easily find our way to the light. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Notice how we can rush to darkness, but we struggle with finding our way back to the light. Notice that we can fall, but we cannot restore ourselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, we can die by choosing to do so, but we cannot raise ourselves again unto life. Jesus, somebody said, thank God for Jesus. God. Jesus, the divine truth, the truth. Somebody said the, the truth. Oh, yeah, you're talking about Jesus now. Yes. He was promised as the conquering seed. He came and was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. For he encountered, Jesus encountered Satan in the wilderness. And yet, he was still victorious. Yes, yes, yes. Satan occupied the hearts and minds of many individuals, but Jesus was able. Somebody said the truth. The truth. Was able to cast demons out of individuals. Yes, the truth was able to put the lie out of the bodies and souls of men. But then more expression, not only there was a man that lived in the tombs. He was out of his mind, but he was demon possessed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he had an encounter with Jesus one day. And he said, Lord, why Will you wish to come and torment us? But I tell you, God is able to do all things. But Jesus came that that man might be free of those demons that possessed him. I tell you, even more, especially on the cross of Calvary, he overthrew Satan. That Jesus entered the domains of death. When he died on the cross and he opened a new passage to the tomb and he opened the gates of heaven to all of the believers. I'm so glad today that though there is the father of lies, Jesus is the one that is true for he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the father except by me. I'm so glad today that, yeah, we were in a bad shape. We were in a bad condition, but thanks be to God for Jesus, that Jesus died on Calvary. Thanks be to God for Jesus, that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. How many of you know that Satan may be the father and the author of lies, but Christ is the author and the prince of truth, that all of his words are true, that you can take Jesus at his word. It makes no difference what others might say. I'm going to take my God at his word. For I know that his word is true. Uh, I know that you can't stop God from fulfilling his promises. Because all of his promises are true. I wish I had a witness today. The, do you know that all of God's promises are true? Uh, that if God promised you that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Now, how many know that you can take God at his word? Uh, that I'm standing on the promises of God. Uh, that every time that I need him, uh, I can call him uh, and I will find a loving savior. Uh, I can call him in the morning. Uh, I can call him in the noonday. Uh, and sometimes I have to call him late at night. Uh, but he promised me uh, that he will never slumber nor sleep. Uh, how many know he that keep it Israel. Uh, he is a mighty good God. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, that he is the truth. Uh, uh, how many of you know uh, uh, that you can't beat God giving? Uh, every time I turn around, uh, the Lord keeps blessing me. Uh, and he keeps doing it over and, uh, and over again. Uh, the Lord is the truth. Uh, for he said, if thou shalt confess uh, uh, with thy mouth the Lord Jesus uh, and believe in that heart uh, that God has raised him from the dead uh, he said thou shalt be saved uh, and I don't know about you uh, but I'm standing on that word uh, that I've been saved uh, that I've been washed uh, in the blood of the lamb uh, what can make me uh, whole again uh, nothing uh, but the blood of Jesus uh, have you been washed uh, in the blood of the Lamb? Uh, are you standing on his truth? Uh, I said I may not be all that I should be. Uh, sometimes I might stumble and fall. Uh, but I'm so glad uh, that God, I'm standing on his word. Uh, and his word is true. Uh, that God will be with you. Uh, won't he be with you? Uh, he walks with me. Uh, and he talks with me uh, and he tell me uh, that I am his own uh, oh, every now and then uh, you may get wrong uh, every now and then uh, you may go astray uh, but I tell you uh, if you know uh, I said if you know uh, that the Lord will forgive you uh, of all of your sins uh, you ought to be happy uh, to know you've been forgiven uh, of all of your sins uh, do you know uh, and one good thing about it uh, he remembers them no more uh, as far as the east is uh, from the west uh, he remembers our sin no more uh, and I'm so glad uh, I don't know about you uh, but I want somebody over here uh, that know that I, you are glad uh, like I'm glad uh, that I'm standing on the truth of God's word. Are you standing on the truth of God's word? So that one day, one day, one day, when this life is over, one day, one day, when I like others have, have come down to the end, one day, I got to lay down this old life. One day, when I come down uh, to the end of life's journey, uh, I don't have to worry, uh, I don't have to fret, uh, because in my father's house uh, there are many mansions. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah.
don't have to worry because the truth has made a way that we can all be with him some glad morning and this life is over Be at rest. I will trust
the skies, direct us down the dangers and the ways. Keep us safe this week, for we know Satan hates us and he's trying to come against us. Already, Lord Jesus, he may already be in somebody's life and somebody's house, but right now, we pray, God, for deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, saturate our hearts and our minds today that we may be renewed in our devotion and dedication to you to know the truth and the truth that set us free. Yes, Lord. Help us, Jesus. 